The Egyptians are voting in the first of two stages of a referendum on a new constitution that is supported by the governing Islamists and President Mohamed Morsi. The initial round of voting takes place in Cairo, Alexandria and eight other provinces. The rest of the country goes to the polls a week later. The document has sparked nationwide protests and yesterday clashes broke out in Alexandria. Supporters of the document and President Mohamed Morsi held rallies in Cairo. So did opposition activists. Members of President Morsi's Islamist-dominated Freedom and Justice Party wrote the Constitution, and critics say it is far less secular than the Constitution that's in effect uh, under Hosni Mubarak's presidency. And you're looking at some live pictures right now of people lining up uh, for that balloting. It's going to be staggered over two rounds to ensure that there will be enough judges to actually monitor the polling stations. A live look at the activity right there. It's a battle to the end of a bitter campaign. A show of force by supporters and opponents of the draft constitution. Each considering the referendum a matter of survival in a post-revolutionary Egypt that has not found its true identity yet. But this is not only about the constitution. Many see the referendum as a vote of confidence in President Morsi himself. He microwaved his uh, stay. Uh, in the first two months, he, he was succeeding and building a lot of popularity. And even uh, uh, analysts were saying, OK, the guy is doing something. Even some of the people who did not vote for him began to give him the benefit of the doubt. Gradually, he began to fall back into his own organization. This is the view of the opposition. It claims that the Egyptian leader is taking marching orders from the leadership of the Muslim Brotherhood. The feeling is made worse by the resignation of several presidential advisors on grounds that President Morsi has been excluding them from the decision-making process. More than half of the judges have refused to oversee the vote, pushing the president to issue yet another decree, this time calling for the vote to be held over two successive Saturdays. The fear is that the results, because the results uh, will be declared uh, immediately, the results of the first uh, uh, week would definitely influence uh, the uh, behavior of the voters uh, in the second stage. Supporters of the president, however, see the referendum as an essential step towards stability and economic recovery. They also see opposition to the president and the constitution as an attack on their personal beliefs and Islam. A dangerous view that concerns even those who do accept the proposed constitution. The biggest mistake is to say that the opposition is either remnants of a former regime or Christians. They're a real opposition and they've got to be listened to. Morsi has to speak to his people. People are tired and hungry. This is a huge threat. The country has reached its limit. If there's a revolution because of hunger, Egypt will be destroyed. It has been a painful road, one full of pitfalls, violence and bloodshed. The constitutional referendum should have marked the crowning of Egypt's revolution. Instead, millions are heading to the polls, heavy-hearted and worried about more unrest after the vote. Uh, well, when you talk to opposition activists, they, they nearly all say that the, the outcome of this referendum will be an out, an out, a resounding yes, which is uh, strange coming from them. But they know the Muslim Brotherhood is very strong, especially in rural areas, rural areas which are set to vote in the second round. And this is why the opposition is, is angry at the way things have been organized here. Uh, they say that because big cities where they have uh, strong support uh, will, are voting in the first round, and this will give the Muslim Brotherhood an extra week to campaign and make up for for the results of, of this first round.